a couple more um, uh, algorithms or, or uh, general algorithms. Um, the uh, I suppose I should start with the the knapsack problem again. I've mentioned this that uh, you uh, put a bunch of weights in a bag. It's uh, easy enough to know. Uh, given the weights you put into the bag, what the total weight of the bag is going to be. Uh, given a bag of some given weight, um, it is much more difficult to figure out what weights went into the bag. So, uh, that is one. Now, um, Ralph Merkel, who... Uh, uh, is one of the people who should get credit for inventing asymmetric encryption and doesn't. Um, he uh, did uh, work on and propose um, uh, various uh, uh, versions of a, a crypto implementation algorithm. Uh, using the knapsack problem. Uh, again, because it's one of these things that's easy in one way and hard in the other way. Uh, he probably, his, his paper that got turned down was, uh, you know, something along the same lines. Uh, so he's, he's worked at that, but um, to date, that hasn't been uh, successful in, in terms of uh, producing an actual algorithm that uh, is solid. Um, there have been uh, problems with the, the algorithms that he has proposed. Um, again, you know, this is, uh, it, you know, some very smart people do it, and, and you cannot rely on you having a clever idea, and that's, that's good enough. No, it's... You, You've got to cross all the T's and dot all the I's and everything has to work properly. Uh, that is the story of cryptography. Um, now, in addition, um, the, uh, another uh, field of, of mathematics that lends itself to this is uh, what's called elliptic curve cryptography. Elliptic curves are formulae um, where if you plot it on a curve, um, if you add two points on the, the graph, on the line, um, you get a third point on the curve. Um, and, you know, it's easy enough to do uh, when you're adding the two points, given the resultant uh, point, it is much harder to figure out what the original two points were. So, same, uh, you know, one-way type problem. Um, people had uh, known about elliptic curve cryptography, and... and uh, well, at, at least the uh, potential use in cryptography. But, of course, you know, we are now into software. Everything is, is programmed in. We're dealing with, you know, very large uh, binary numbers and, and keys and, and that sort of thing. And so uh, people thought that it was going to be difficult to do this with computers until somebody actually tried it and found out that actually it was pretty easy. Um, not only that, but it turns out that elliptic curve cryptography has the highest strength per bit of any of the uh, so far viable uh, asymmetric algorithms. The um, uh, key length for elliptic curve cryptography, ECC, um, is uh, much closer to the key length for symmetric encryption than, than the normal 
keys that you would use for uh, RSA or uh, Diffie-Hellman. And so, uh, you know, it, it's, uh, it's easier, it's quicker, it's, uh, you know, in, in terms of computers, it, it uses less uh, space. And um, it, it, overall, it, it would seem that elliptic curve cryptography should be uh, overtaking uh, the others. Um, that does not seem to be the case. Um, now, there are some uh, difficulties with elliptic curve cryptography, uh, but it's, it's kind of surprising um, that it is not more widely used than it is. Okay, uh, um, so those are... Um, uh, you know, ad additional uh, contenders in, in terms of asymmetric algorithms. Um, they are uh, things you should uh, consider and, and be aware of in terms of uh, future developments in cryptography, you know, sort of things to watch. In, in the same way that... Um, uh, uh, quantum cryptanalysis, the use of quantum computers, as we mentioned last time, for uh, uh, breaking uh, codes and algorithms and extracting keys and all that kind of good stuff, is um, something that you should be aware of and uh, uh, keep as a future consideration. Um, so, uh, different areas to, to be aware of as cryptography uh, develops over time.